Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. Today, I have cut out my mint green batiste pattern pieces, and I just wanna kinda of go, go over the pieces, and we're gonna transfer some pattern markings today too, using a blue fabric marking pen. Okay, so I've got a sleeve. Now, this does have a back and a front and a point up at the top center for it to line up with the shoulder seam. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the shoulder seam and removing a pin real quickly. I'm gonna write the word back on one, on the left side of one and on the right side of another because I'll need to make sure that I make um, mirror image sleeves to go into this pattern. You put my pin back in there. Okay, so I can set that piece aside. So I've got two sleeves. I've also got one front yoke that was cut on the fold. I don't need to do any pattern markings on that. Um, I also, um, on the back bodice piece or the back yoke piece, um, this particular pattern, if you can see, um, it had a facing that folds in, but I have a tendency to like to make the back piece because it has a little bit of stress on the pattern uh, to make that double layered. So I cut two pieces on the fold line, okay? And um, I'm not gonna transfer my buttonhole marks right now. I'll, well, I guess maybe I will. Let me get a silk pen. Okay, since this is a boy's pattern, I'll be transferring those patterns to the left side of the yoke, and we got two buttonholes. So I'll put a mark, these are gonna be 3 8 inch buttons, and I'll put a mark where the buttonhole will start on each one. There we go, let me make that mark again. There we go. Okay, so I'll put that aside. Now, one pattern piece that you didn't have a pattern piece for, but the pattern tells you to cut out, is we need a placket piece. And this placket is eight inches long and one and three quarter inches wide. So I just created a pattern piece for myself and cut that out. Okay, now I'm gonna start with the back because there's not quite as much to mark on the back, okay? Um, we have to eat, we have to gather it up here along the top where it connects to the bodice. But down here at the bottom, at the crotch, uh, we have to make some inverted box pleats. So I need to make some marks on my pattern piece where those inverted box pleats need to go to. So they were gonna mark from there, go to the center, and go to the center there. Let me see if that went through that, mark it again. Okay, so I can set that piece aside. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark the crotch on the bottom, the inverted box pleats again. Okay, all right, now we've got lots of pleats up here at the top that I need to mark. Okay, so this needs to move over to here. This pleat needs to be folded over to here. This pleat needs to be folded over to here. Just mark each pleat, because we've got several pleats that we'll have to make. I'll count them in just a minute. Okay, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight plates. Okay? All right, so that gets all of our pattern markings. So in the next video, we will start to create the bodice piece so that we can attach the collar. Okay, but marking the pattern pieces and transferring the pattern markings were what we were doing today. Thank you.